I'm going to do is talk about what's gone on from second wave to third wave. How we've gone from a movement that was about liberation to one that's all about personal empowerment. Or as I like to say it, if I'm okay, fuck you. So <laughs> what we're going to talk about is what feminism used to be. So this bridge called my back was one of the first multicultural books. So you remember that. Now let's look how they defined feminism. Feminism is the political theory and practice to free all women, women of color, working class women, poor women, physically challenged women, lesbians, as well as white, economically privileged, heterosexual women, etc., etc. Notice how it was about all women. They didn't select out a small group of women. They were very clear that this is a movement for massive social change. Now, what's happened that this was the second wave definition to the third wave? Feminism is something individual to each feminist. This is from the Feminist Manifesto that was published in Alternet. Now, let me... To imagine the ridiculousness of this, could you imagine saying the civil rights movement is something individual to every person of colour? Or the labour movement is individual to every... How far would we get if we had individual movements? OK, it doesn't work like that. Only feminism can be your individual movement to whatever you want it to be. Now, how did we get to that? Right? If you're going to talk about the movement from liberation to empowerment, and I want to make clear, this is not simply a generational. It is an ideological battle. We have to be very specific about this, because there's many young women sitting in the audience today, I'm sure, who would subscribe to that which is called second wave, the more radical. So let's talk about what these two did. And what they did was they normalized neoliberalism. Now, neoliberalism was in the air before they got into power. But they really did something very specific. They made it the hegemony, the mainstream way of thinking. And most young feminists today were born in a neoliberal time. They've known nothing else. It's kind of like the air they breathe. So they're not reflective on a lot of the ideologies that they write about. So let's think about Margaret Thatcher. There is no such thing as society, only individual men and women. Does this sound familiar? There's no such thing as feminism, only individual, etc. So what's happened is this notion of the individual has overtaken. Now, in neoliberalism, it's all about the sovereignty of the individual. Nothing exists outside of the individual. In fact, in neoliberalism, there is no such thing as structural inequality, there's no systems of oppression, and there's no groups with collective interests. Now, when they say that, it means, i.e., the oppressed are not a group with collective interests, because they know full well, the top 1%, that they are a group with collective interest. When they meet in Davos and wherever else they meet, they're not talking about what they had for dinner last night, okay? They're talking about how to plan and how to basically develop policy for the fact that they do act as a class. It's just us, the powerless, who are not meant to think of ourselves as a class. And the most ridiculous thing is, is when we do criticize the rich, right, what does it get called? Class warfare.